I am not a researcher and I have not prepared a PowerPoint presentation. So I just want to give a few remarks on the relation European Union Turkey. Uh, Ihan Kaya did it in a very interesting and detailed way, so I have not to talk too much about it. Uh, secondly, I will just give you information about the political parties in Europe and especially in Germany uh, about the membership negotiations in European Union Turkey. And last but not least, a few remarks on the changing migration between Turkey and uh, Germany. So the negotiations even started in the late 50s, as far as I remember. And this year, after 50 years, we have the 50th anniversary of the Ankara Agreement, and still no solutions, I would say. So it's really very remarkable. Uh, for example, in 2001, Croatia also applied to become a member country of uh, the European Union, and now the negotiations are finished. So it's a big difference. As far as I know, only one chapter is finished, uh, in the negotiations between the European Union and Turkey. So that's all about this relation, but I have uh, some information about the political views of the political parties in the European Parliament concerning the EU membership of Turkey. The biggest group of the parties consists of Christian Democrats and Conservatives, they call each other European People's Parties. They have altogether 264 members of parliament, and the whole parliament, I think, has uh, about 730, 34 members. So it's the biggest group. But Spanish, Italian, and Swedish Christian parties are in favor for the Turkish membership. It was the same with the British Conservatives. I don't know if they have changed their minds. Yes, I don't know. <laughs> uh, so, but influential minorities like the German Christian Party, Angela Merkel, and the Golestic Party, Nicolas Sarkozy, the former president of France, they are against the full membership of Turkey. I think it changed in the meantime. I think uh, that uh, Hollande has a different opinion. Uh, both uh, Germany and uh, France were offering Turkey a privileged partnership, which means a closer and deeper relation concerning, for example, environmental care, improvement to the economy, improved common foreign and security policies. Reading interviews of Christian and conservative politicians uh, politicians in Germany, my impressions are that they are observing Turkey through the glasses of the Turkish migrants in Germany. All the prejudices concerning the Turkish migrants in Germany are repeated. But, like all the other groups of political parties, they demand from Turkey the improvement of democracy, freedom of the press, political control of the military, more rights for ethnic minorities and different religious groups. The group of the Social Democratic parties, altogether 161 members of parliament, have generally no reservations about culture and religion in Turkey. Their political views are more or less pragmatic. Keep on negotiating and consolidate the solutions. They partly regret the weakness and missing engagement of the GHP, the Republican People's Party. The Social Democratic Party in Germany is in favor of a Turkish membership, but also uh, asks for improvements in the fields I just mentioned. The Liberal parties, altogether 80 members, are open-minded concerning a Turkish membership in the EU. They consider Turkey as an important country, mainly because of its geopolitical situation. Similar arguments 
we know from the German Minister of Foreign Affairs, Guido Westerwelle, who is a member of the Liberal Party. The Greenies, altogether 53 members in the European Parliament, are also in favor for a Turkish membership. Same for the comparatively big Green Party in Germany. Also the former Minister of Foreign Affairs, Joschka Fischer, is very much in favor of a Turkish membership. The small group of left parties, 34 members, is also in favor of a Turkish membership. Prerequisite for the membership is that Turkey meets the Copenhagen criteria, but this is just now. They consider Turkey as a part of Europe. Cultural and religious reasons should not be used as an excuse, so they say. Altogether, there's a majority of members of parliament in favor for a Turkish membership in the European Parliament. The same for the Parliament in Germany. Not so for the public opinion in Germany. Concerning the opinion polls, a small majority is against the membership of Turkey in the EU. I personally do not consider it as a major obstacle. Opinions are changing. They depend mainly on statements of politicians and contributions of the press media. They are serious enough, but I think you can overcome. Well, secondly, I will give some information about the situation, migration movement, Turkey, Germany. In 2011, 28,000 Turks immigrated to Germany. This is only 3% of the total immigration to Germany. Additionally, former Turkish migrants with a German passport re-immigrate to Germany. The exact figure I don't know, and I don't know if it is even known. As far as I know, we have no statistics about it. The total figure of all German re-immigrants was 170,000. It means 12% of the immigrants. The total figure of immigrants in 2011 was 958,000. The same figure of Turks, 28,000, emigrated from Germany, most of them probably to Turkey. <laughs> These are 4% of all the emigrants. The total figure is 679,000. Immigration from Turkey to Germany was quite different in the 70s and the 80s. In 1973, 250,000 Turks arrived in Germany and 87,000 left from Germany. In 1980, the figures were still high. 212,000 arrived in and 70,000 left Germany. Slowly, the figures decreased to 28,000 in 2011. Today, Poland, Romania, and Bulgaria are the main countries of origin of immigrants to Germany. Family reunification as a reason for immigration to Germany is decreasing. In 2001, there were 23,700 cases of family reunification from Turkey. And in 2011, only 8,400. Among them, only 900 children. I remember well that the question of the reunification of children with their families in Germany was a main topic of the interior political discussions in Germany in the 80s. Especially conservative politicians were afraid of that ten thousands of young Turks have a keen interest to immigrate to Germany. 
So concerning to the ranking among these 28,000 immigrants from Turkey to Germany, 800, 400 cases of family reunification, 3,900 refugees, the 1,500 students, and about 1,200 uh, 1, qualified and high qualified workers and employees. I will give you now a short idea about the population in Germany in 2011. The total figure was 81.8 million uh, population. Germans without a migrational background, 65.8 million. Persons with migrational background, altogether 16 million. And amongst these 60 million, persons with own migration experience, 10 million.7. And persons without a personal migration experience, 5 million.3. Turkey was an important standing country for Germany. Today, nearly 3 million persons are living in Germany uh, who have a Turkish migration background. Uh, half of them have own migration experience, but the other have, half have no experience. Persons with the background Turkey are the biggest group of people with a migration background in Germany, 18.5%. This quota was and is still decreasing. In the 80s, one third of the total migrants population in Germany were people with a Turkish background. Today, in 2011, 7.4 million of all the migrant population, total 16 million, have no German passport. It is a quarter of 9% of the total population in Germany. 23% of the foreign population have Turkish passports in figures. 1.6 million of the altogether nearly 3 million persons with a Turkish migration and background have no German passport. It's important for naturalization and uh, if there is a, a transnational movement between both the countries. But uh, most of the Turkish migrants have permanent permissions to stay and a long duration of stay in Germany. Just a few remarks on naturalization. The total number of naturalizations are decreasing from the year 2000 until now. In 2000, there were 187,000 cases of naturalization. In 2011, only 107,000. 83,000 means 44% of the naturalized persons in 2000 were Turks. In 2011, only 28,000, it means 26% were Turks. The main reason for the disproportionate decrease is that Turks generally have to give up their Turkish citizenship in order to get the German passport. The immigration of Turks to Germany within the last 20 years. The figures decreased from 83,000 in 1991 to 56,000 in 2001 and 28,000 as I mentioned it in 2011. The emigration of Turks from Germany held relatively steady from 37,000 in 1991 to 33,000 in 2011. As the figure of 33,000 contains only Turkish citizens. The total figure of the emigrants with a Turkish background must be must higher. Certainly today, less Turks are emigrating to Germany than Turkish migrants are 
Excuse me. Are immigrating to Germany, then Turkish <coughs> migrants are emigrating from Germany, most probably to Turkey. The situation of immigration, emigration between Germany and Turkey consider, uh, changed considerably. Well, a few conclusions. The extremely long lasting and ongoing, and still ongoing, fulfillment of the Ankara Agreement has not prevented migration of labor between Turkey and Germany. Still there are migration movements in two directions. The comparatively young Turkish migrants in Germany were a positive contribution in terms of demography to the population in Germany. Now the situation is changing. Young and well-educated Turkish migrants are leaving Germany for Turkey. Some of them return again to Germany. Peter Schatzer mentioned it this morning. As they own German passports and a blue card for Turkey, they can try to settle down in Turkey or to return to Germany. But they must have a German passport, otherwise it will not work. They are allowed only to stay six months outside and then they we lose the permanent permission to stay in Germany. The Turkish population is still increasing and relatively young. So Turkey would not need a contribution from Germany to a well-developing population. But I consider personally the immigration of young and educated Turkish migrants to Turkey as a useful contribution in terms of economy and the improvement of international and also German-Turkish relations. Thank you.